Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys doing today? It is 78 in Indianapolis, so I'm filming all my videos outside today. <laughs> Which means I just hauled these huge boxes of candles out here to do this huge, <clears throat> I'm losing my voice, this huge Goose Creek candle haul. Oh, let me get the box all ready for you guys. I have two boxes of these, okay? Here it is. This huge Goose Creek candle haul. So let me tell you what happened, okay? So y'all know I love the candles, okay? Late last year, I started uh, burning candles out here on my patio. This one right here is the King's Candle Collection Bonfire. It's not my favorite. It smells like cologne, but I will tell you, like inside, I don't like how they smell inside the house, but out here, they make the whole front porch smell like cologne. I'm kind of like, mm, I kind of like it. And then the other one I have is a Christmas candle from Bath and Body Works, and it's called Tis the Season. I'm trying to get to the bottom of this one. So anyway, I have been burning candles a lot this winter inside. It's kind of like my cozy thing to do at the end of the day. I get my iPad out to watch my true crime shows, and I light candles, and I make a cup of coffee. And so I have been really, really into candles. And I was talking about it on my vlog one night, and somebody said, have you ever tried Goose Creek candles? Which I never, I had heard of them, but I'd never tried them before, I don't think. And so, um, I mean, I don't think I've ever purchased one. So if I've ever tried one, it's because somebody gave me one as a gift and I don't remember. So anyway, that night or night after that or something, I got online and I looked up Goose Creek candles. Well, they were having this huge sale. Oh, this is why. Because I have this one Bath and Body Works candle. It's called like Sugar Snickerdoodle Cookie or something like that. And it smells so good. So like in the winter time, I love the smell of like in the fall and the winter, I love the smell of baked scents. Like apple, cinnamon, any kind of cookie smell, things like that, pumpkin, whatever. I love that smell. My husband, not so much. He loves like spa, spa smells, which is why... Upstairs in our bedroom and in the bathroom, it's like all like spa kind of candles. But downstairs at night, like I light all the baked scents. So the Snickerdoodle candle I loved. And somebody recommended to me a Goose Creek candle that was like Snickerdoodle. So I actually ordered it, we're gonna see. So that was why. So I went over to Goose Creek and they were having this huge sale. And it was like three wick candles that were $24.99 were on sale for like $5.99, $6.99, and $9.99. I think I got, I got some that were like this size too. I honestly don't even know. But I went in and I looked at each candle and I looked at what the scents were. So I have two boxes of this size that I held up. So we're going to go through these and I'm going to show you guys everything that I got. I have no idea how. The boxes are very heavy. So... <clears throat> I just use my scissors to open it. I haven't even opened it. I haven't looked inside or anything. So, okay. So, yeah. They have the crates in here just like Bath and Body Works. So, when you open them. Ooh, it smells so good. When you open it. Ugh, this is what it looks like inside when you open the crate. Okay? And then you get these little flyers. Like this one says, Peter Rabbit is here. And it's, they have all these Peter Rabbit candles right now that you can buy. And then smell the sweets, peanut butter and jelly, caramel drizzle blondie. It looks to me like, I've never seen one of their candles before, but it looks to me like they're very similar to Bath and Body Works, just different smells. So, okay, let's get to the bottom of this first box. Oh my gosh, look at all these candles. Can you guys? Okay, so this is just one box. Should we open up the second box and see what it looks like? Oh. All right. I ended up spending, it was like $175, and I got a lot of candles that are like summer scents too. So this will take me into summer. I won't be buying any candles for a while, which means I'll probably turn around and buy. See, this is the thing. It's like, I'm like, oh, I want bonfire candles. So then I get on Amazon and I buy all these bonfire candles, right? Okay. So here is the second box. Woo. Oh, Peter Rabbit is still here. You get that flyer as well. And then these things, take these out. And then here are all these candles, which these are a little bit smaller. You can see these are like the same size as these. Oh my God, they're the exact same size. They look like the same containers and everything. That's bizarre. Okay, so let's get into this. I'm just going to lift them up and show them to you guys, and I'm going to smell them and tell you if I think they're good or not. Okay? So I'm going to go, starting over here on the left-hand side, these are like the little candles I got for out here. This one's called Button Up. And I think it's supposed to smell like flannel and things like that. Now, ooh, they're kind of dusty. But when you like smell keynote, you're only supposed to go like that. Do you know it? Okay. I learned that. Ooh, ooh. What does that remind me of? This is a good fall candle. This kind of smells like 
You borrowed somebody's flannel shirt. Oh my God, that you're like in love with and you wear it. It smells like, okay, if you borrow somebody's flannel shirt that you're in love with and it has their cologne on it. That's what it smells like. It's called button up. Ooh, I like that one a lot. Okay, then the next one is, oh, I learned it at, uh, what's the, the outlet mall in Edinburgh, Indiana, the candles. The candles, like Yankee candles. They taught me that, that you just like lift it up and smell like that. Okay, this one's called Clarity. Wild, mint, and birch. And I got this for upstairs for a bathroom. Oh, Alex is going to love that one. This smells like, okay, this actually smells like a fresh morning of snow outside, which is birch. So it's such a pretty candle on the outside. Look at that. Okay, then here's my first three wick candle. And they had a lot of Christmas ones that were on sale, but they had a lot of ones that were on sale that were not Christmas ones. And this one's called Decorating the Tree, and it's probably pine smell, which is why I got it, because I wanted to get some pine smelling ones. Ooh, I like that. It's like pine, but kind of sweet, too. Like, there's some vanilla in there. Ooh, I really like that one. Now, I want to compare this to the Bath and Body Works one. So, it's exactly... Looks exactly the same as the Bath and Body Works candle. Actually, the jar is a little bit bigger. But just a little bit. So, and, I mean, these were like $24.95. I mean, these were on sale, obviously. But, are they... Are, it's Goose Creek. I mean, they even look kind of like the same on the top. Are Goose Creek the same as Bath and Body Works? The same, or are they different? Okay, the next one is called This Is Christmas. And I got this one because I like the Tis the Season. And the other one is called Perfect Christmas. So I got this one called This Is Christmas to see. And this is Pine, Eucalyptus, and Cinnamon. Okay, it doesn't smell... It smells a lot like, like pine cones that have cinnamon in it. It doesn't smell like the perfect Christmas or Tis the Season. I like those better. But it's still good. But it, it's, I, I like those better. Okay, then I got Scarlet Apple because I love a good apple. Macintosh Apple by Yankee is probably my favorite apple candle. But I don't, I don't think I bought a uh, Yankee candle in forever. Ooh, that is so good. Oh my God, that is so good. Like I said, all the candles I bought were on sale. I did not buy one candle that was not on sale. So all these are on sale. These uh, three wick candles that burn forever were like between $5.99 and $9.99. They were all, most of them were $5.99 or $6.99. I couldn't believe it. Okay. Actually, these were a little bit more expensive. These were like $9.99. This is called Everything Fall. Ooh. Oh, that is so good. This is like patchouli with like... What, what are the smells? Does it say on here? It's like patchouli and something else. Okay, essential oils. It doesn't say on here what it is. It smells like patchouli and sandalwood. Oh, this is my favorite one so far. Everything Fall. I might go back in and buy a three wick candle of that if they have it because I really like that one. Okay. Then this one is called Midnight Cookie Craving. And this one is, I think this is the one that's similar to the, the Snickerdoodle one. Yeah, this is it. This is the one, I might have bought two of these because this is the one that is very similar to Snickerdoodle. It smells exactly like the Bath and Body Works Snickerdoodle one. I don't really care what a candle looks like. So. Oh, yeah, I bought two of them. Midnight Cookie Craving. Okay, this one is called Late Night. They had a couple of these. They were like three different ones. And I thought I'm just going to try these. They look kind of pretty. I don't know what the... It doesn't say what, on here what the scents are at all. I don't know why. Late Night Goose Creek. This kind of reminded me of Champagne Toast by Bath & Body Works. Oh, that's why I bought it, because it said, like, pear on it. This smells like, a, this is a stronger smelling champagne toast from Bath and Body Works. Yeah, it smells almost identical to it, called Late Night. The, is this, like, a knockoff, or, or is Goose Creek, like, a knockoff of Bath and Body Works? I mean, don't they look, I don't know anything about Goose Creek, so. Um, and then this one is called Jingle Bells. Oh, that is good. That smells like a clearer, crisper champagne toast. Like champagne toast, like with 
Sprite in it. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. It's just like, I really like this one. This is probably the first one I'm going to burn tonight. Maybe that and the Macintosh, or the apple wine. I call it Macintosh apple wine. Okay, this one's called First Autumn Frost. It's a pretty candle though, isn't it? Even though I don't really care about how the candle looks. It doesn't say on these with the... Okay, I don't love this one. This smells like pine, but very perfumey pine. I don't love it. This is not my favorite. Well, that's not bad so far going through all this. Okay, and this one's Old Time Lemonade. I actually got this one for the summer to have down in the kitchen because I love any lemon smells. It does smell like, I was when I bought this, I think this is such such a pretty thing, anyway, to have next to the sink. I, I was like, because I used to, like, to use lemon soap and stuff in the summer sometimes. And I always use like the lemon multi-purpose spray in the kitchen. I love the smell of lemon in kitchens. But I was like, is it going to smell like lemon lemon? or Because I, I think I got one that is lemon lemon. I was like, or is it going to smell, yeah, I can see it over there. Or am I going to, because it has lemons all over it. Or is it going to smell like lemonade? This actually smells like a sweet lemon, like lemonade. And this one is called Old Time Lemonade. I really like that one. All right. And I cleaned out my cabinet that had all my books in it, so now I can put all these candles down there to store them. Okay. If you don't watch my vlog, somebody said you sound like a hoarder in my vlog the other day. I'm like, or in my uh, Peter Dustin video the other day. I'm like, uh, I have been massively cleaning this house and the basement and everything out. The bookshelves I completely cleaned out the other day. So here's the other lemon one that I was just talking about. And this one's called Lemon and Leaves. I think I bought this one for the bathroom. Lemon, leaves, and geranium. No, I don't. Mm -mm. This is strong on geranium. I don't like this one. Because it's really flowery. My friend Tawny Jean likes flowery scents. I might give this one to her. Yeah, I don't love that one. But she would love it. Okay, this one is called Spiced Fallen Leaves. This isn't the other one that I said that I liked, is it? Is this the one that I had before in the smaller one? Because I love this one. Oh, this is so good. This smells like... My mom used to do, like, cloves and cinnamon and stuff on the stove. Remember, I've talked about that. This smells like apple cider. This smells like apple cider with cinnamon and things like that. Oh my god, that smells so good. Okay, then this one is Cliffside Sea Spray. This is for either upstairs or the summer. Oh, this is good. My husband's going to love this one. I might have to get a couple more of these if they're still on sale for the upstairs because this is exactly how he would want the bedroom to smell. It smells like when you walk into a spa. Like that's, you know, like when you walk into a spa and they have like the aromatherapy and stuff. Does it say on here what the smells are? Oh, salt water, ocean air, and blooms. It just smells like a... a, a, a luxurious spa is what it smells like. I love this one. And it's called Cliffside Sea Spray. And then this one is called Island Bliss. And it says on here, waters, coconut, and citrus. They don't go all in on the details to waters. It smells like, what does water smell like? <laughs> okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. That is, oh, that is real perfumey. Oh, strong on, strong on the, uh, I don't smell any water, so I don't smell any coconut. And I don't really smell citrus. It smells like perfume. I don't like that one. It smells like powder, like bathroom powder. I don't like that. Ooh, okay. This one is Snowman Cookie. Ooh, I like this one. It's like sugar cookie with pine. Does it say pine on here? No, it doesn't say anything on here. It's like sugar cookie with like pine smell to it. I don't like this as much as the other cookie ones, but I like it. It's good. I mean, the Christmas decorations all over. I mean, I don't care about that, but like, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's March, almost April, right? Okay, this one is called Beach Party. <laughs> it says the smells on here, it doesn't. Okay. Are there Goose Creek candle stores? I don't even know. Okay, my husband will love this candle. This smells like... Everything fruity in the entire world likes citrus. It smells like oranges, papayas, mangoes, grapefruit. This is good. He'll love this. I should probably get another one of these for downstairs for, like, the summer. Two candles left. Okay. Oh, I, did I buy two of these? I bought two Island Bliss ones, and that's the one I don't like, isn't it? 
Yeah. Oh God. It smells like bathroom powder. Okay. Tani's gonna be getting her some. She likes these kind of smells. These perfumey smells. So she's getting some candles this week. Okay. And then sugar cookie milkshake. I have no idea. I'll either love this one or I'll hate this one. And it says, doesn't say. I think the description was like sugar cookie with milkshake. Okay. Oh, that is so good. It's very doughy. It, it, it smells like sugar cookie dough is what it smells like. Oh, I'm so excited I got some new candles. And other than like three of them, I really liked all of them. But Tiny Jean needs a little gift anyway. So I'm real excited and she'll like that. So that was good. That was real good. Well, all right. Let me know if you guys have a favorite uh, brand. I have to tell you, I'm going to go in and I'm gonna, these are some candles I'm going to buy. Anthropology has the Capri Blue candles. And I think that's what I want her downstairs to sound, smell like this summer. We already have one. They burn forever. They're like $30 each. They, I, for some reason, I always think they're so expensive because they come in this beautiful metal tin. But they're not really any more expensive than Bath & Body Works candles or, you know, Yankee candles or these when they're normal priced. So I think I'm going to go in and get like three or four of those for the summer and have that be what are downstairs. If you've ever smelled a Capri Blue candle, they smell incredible. So anyway, let me know what your favorite candle is in the comment section below. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.